Hey everybody, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you are new here, welcome and definitely hit that red subscribe button and the bell. That way you are notified of all future uploads from me. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So as promised, I'm back to doing tutorials. So this one is going to be one of the two tutorials that I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. So for this one, I decided to just keep it very simple, very classic. I have a glitter eye that I have come up with and a classic red lip, of course. I know everybody's not into red lips, but if you're not, I mean, you could definitely substitute it for a plum, a pink, or even a nude. I feel like this is just such a classic look. It pretty much goes with everything. I did decide to just kind of keep it simple with just the glitter and just pretty much a neutral transition color. Lots of highlight as you can see and I actually did some cream contouring as well. Like I said I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea but I just feel like you know it's Valentine's Day. If there's any time that you want to just kind of like go above and beyond and go full glam it should be for Valentine's Day so I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do definitely give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and let me know what types of tutorials you would like to see next thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon on my next one bye guys all right let's get it popping so i'm gonna be featuring some new products in this tutorial as well so the first one that i'm gonna be using is this brow pencil this is the maybelline brow precise brow pencil i'm using it in the shade auburn and i got this from the drugstore and i feel like it's a really good dupe for the mac brow pencils it's pretty much that same waxy kind of formula and i love that it comes with a spoolie on it so you guys have seen me do my brows a million times so you pretty much already know what i'm going to do i just basically like to do the line on the bottom the line at the top connect it at the tail and then just fill in my brows with the pencil Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. And this is in the shade Auburn as well. And how I like to use this is I like to take the tip of it and just put the actual product to my brow and then turn it to the side and just kind of rub it through my brows. And I really have been enjoying this brow mascara because it not only helps to fill in those sparse areas, but it actually sets your brows in place as well. So you don't need a brow gel to set them and with me being oily I don't have to worry about sweating through my brows because it sets everything in place so now I'm going to take this bodyography double ended um, brow brush and I'm just going to take the angled side and I'm going to be using this Maybelline concealer in light medium and I'm going to just apply it and then start blending it out just to carve out my brows Next to prime my eyes, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm going to take this cream shade here and just apply it all over my eyelid, um, pretty much all over my whole eye area just to conceal those veins that I have coming up. And then I'm going to use this Urban Decay brush and I'm just going to blend it out and also with my fingers as well. Next, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, 
contouring duo and I'm gonna be taking the banana shade which I absolutely love oh my gosh you guys and I'm just going to take that same brush I used earlier and I'm just going to apply this powder all over just to set the cream concealer that we just applied Now I'm going to go in with the City Color Primer Spray. This is the matte one. And basically I'm just going to spray this all over my face just to help keep me from getting oily throughout the day. But that's drying. I'm going to go in with this Maybelline... What is this called? Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade 01 Light. And I'm going to apply a generous amount to my under eye area just because we're going to be working with glitter and I just don't want to get any of the fallout on my actual face. Wet my beauty blender and I'm going to just dip my beauty blender in there and just start applying that powder to my under eye area. All right, so let's get started on the eyes. So this first eyeshadow that I'm going to be working with is a Motives single eyeshadow. This is called Steel. And I'm gonna be applying this with that same Urban Decay brush that we used earlier. And basically, you always want to apply some type of a eyeshadow base when you're working with glitters because sometimes the glitter doesn't cover the whole eye area and you kind of have like spaces peeking through. So this is just to make sure that you don't have any of those spaces peeking through. And it's also just, it just kind of helps everything to blend together really nicely. Next, we're going to get ready for our glitter. So I'm going to go in with this NYX glitter primer, glitter glue, whatever you want to call it. And I'm actually going to apply that to that same brush that we used earlier. And then I'm going to put that directly on my eyes. And you just want to let this sit for a couple of seconds just to get tacky. You definitely don't want it to dry though, because then it's going to be really hard to apply your glitter. So the glitter I'm using is a Too Faced glitter. It's called Glitterly, and this came in the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup collection. And this does not have a sifter or anything on it, so you just have to be really, really careful when you're getting it out of the container. But basically what I like to do is apply a little bit more of the glitter glue onto the actual brush, and then go ahead and grab the glitter just to make sure we have the least amount of fallout as possible. So basically with glitter you just want to take your time you just want to start with a little and then build it up to the consistency that you like so I'm just taking the opposite end of that Urban Decay brush and I'm just dabbing it onto my eye until I basically get the glitter the way that I want it.
Next, I'm gonna take another Motive Shadow. This one is called Cappuccino, and I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk blending brush, and I'm just going to apply this as a transition color. I like to do this after the glitter, so that way you can clean up any extra glitter that you have in your crease, and it just helps everything to blend together really nicely. So that's what I'm doing here. Next, I'm taking this Motives shadow called Cream Fresh. And this is a good little trick just in case you kind of get really, really close to the inside of your eye. You can actually apply a white shadow there and that will clean up any mess that you made. So just a quick little tip for you guys. Now I'm gonna take this e.l.f. angled brush and that same eyeshadow that we just used. And I'm going to place this in my brow bone area just for a little subtle highlight. I really didn't want to do anything like super dramatic here because we already have a lot of drama going on with the glitter. Next, I'm taking this e.l.f. blush brush and I'm just going to sweep away all of that powder that we have underneath the eye. You're always gonna have a little bit of glitter on your face, but this definitely cuts down on the amount of fallout that you'll have. Next, I'm going to go in with this Motives Liquid Powder Mineral Foundation. I am in the shade Cameo Beige. I definitely plan on doing a full review on it later, but you guys, I am obsessed with this foundation. I Seriously, I absolutely love it. If you're oily, you definitely need it in your life because it is amazing. So I'm going to take this Motives Flat Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to just kind of like painting it on my face first and then we're going to go and blend it out. I'm going back to my wet beauty blender and I'm just going to start blending this out with the beauty blender. With this foundation, you can blend it out however you choose to. Honestly, you can use a beauty blender or you can use a brush. I've used both and honestly, I prefer the beauty blender with this, but a brush does a decent job as well. Just make sure that you use kind of a dense brush if you're gonna use a brush. Highlighting, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light Medium. I really, really like this concealer for highlighting the high points of the face. So if I can ever find my brush... There we go. So I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild concealer brush to just apply it to my face and then I'm going to blend it out. So I like to go in a triangle shape. I just feel like this flatters my face a lot better and I just like doing it that way. So I just go in a triangle shape and apply the concealer and then I'm going to blend it out. And I know that this is a lot of concealer and I notice now that I'm editing it like I really didn't need that much but this is a full glam tutorial so we can definitely tone it down later if needed. So now I'm just blending out all of that concealer with my damp beauty blender. I know I look crazy, so let's go ahead and fix this highlight mess we have going on. So I'm going to go back into that Wet n Wild banana powder and this e.l.f. tapered brush. And I'm just going to set all of the concealer with the banana powder. 
And I'm gonna grab my super huge powder brush that I got from the icing in the mall and my Maybelline Better Skin powder. Um, this I use to set my face, but I like that it actually has a little bit of color too. So if you're trying to correct anything like now, it's really good for that. So I'm just going to apply that powder all over my face and I'm in the shade 50 Natural Beige. And now for contouring, I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I'm going to grab the lightest of the contour shades. This is called Cinnamon. And I'm gonna go back in with that Moda's foundation brush I used earlier and I'm just going to apply the cream contour to my cheekbones, a little bit above my temples, my forehead area, and then down the sides of my nose to contour my nose. Now I'm just gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender and I'm just going to start blending all of that out. This is why I hate cream contouring because I feel like it just takes forever to blend out, but the end result is definitely worth it because it definitely brings out a lot of your features. So yeah, this is gonna take a long time. To set that cream contour, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You always want to set creams with powder. So I'm going to go back in with that e.l.f. brush from earlier. And I'm just going to apply that to my um, other areas on my face where I applied that cream contour. Just to set it in place and then further blend it out. Because I still didn't feel like it was blended like I really wanted it to. It still looked a little harsh to me. So then I went back in with my beauty blender just to help blend it out some more. Another trick for you guys. So I'm going back into that loose powder and I'm just going to apply that powder right under where we applied the contour on my cheekbones. And what this does is it just cleans up that area and just makes it look like really nice and it doesn't make it look like so sloppy. So that's another trick for you guys. So I don't like to let it sit. You can definitely bake that area if you want to, but I just like to go in and apply it and then immediately wipe it away. As for blush, I'm going in with one of my favorites. This is Milani Romantic Rose. I absolutely love this blush. I like using this for dramatic looks because you already have a lot going on with your eyes so you don't want to have like a super loud um, blush. So I just went in with that same elf brush from earlier and just applied this all over my cheek area. And now I'm so excited to be using this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. This is in the shade Illuminati. It is Valentine's Day, so you know you got to be high lit, girl. So with this, it is a loose powder. So what I like to do is just kind of tap the powder into the cap that it comes with. And then you just want to start off with a little bit of this and definitely build it up to the consistency that you want. But girl, do you see? how gorgeous this is like oh I die every time I put it on my face like literally it's so pretty Now, going back up to the eyes, we're going to apply some mascara. And the mascara that we're going to be using today is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, which I actually have really, really been enjoying this mascara. So I'm just going to go in and just apply a quick coat on the lashes to prep for falsies.
So for lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell number 600. These are the Demi Wispies, I believe they're called. And I absolutely love these because they're really dramatic, really spiky, and... I love them. Um, if you want to go with a more natural lash, you could probably go with like the 101s or the 102s, the more natural ones. But as for me in this tutorial, I wanted some flair. So I'm actually going to be using my Duo Brush On Lash Adhesive. And I'm just going to apply that to the tops of the to the lash band rather and then I'm just gonna let it dry for maybe like 15 to 20 seconds and then I'm going to apply these lashes to the eye. And now I'm going to set my face. So I'm gonna go in with this Motives No More Shine. This is our mattifying setting spray, which is life. Like if you are oily, you need to order this today because you will love it. So I just set my face with that. And now I'm going to go in and hit these bottom lashes. So I'm gonna go back in with that Motives Cappuccino eyeshadow that we used earlier and the Motives eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to apply this to my bottom lash line just to help tie the whole look together. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Motives Electrify Waterproof Mascara in the shade Blackout. A lot does come out of the container, so I like to wipe off the excess first and then go in and apply it, just so you don't have to worry about like it smearing or anything. Then I'm going to go back into that Illuminati highlighter that we used earlier and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners of my eyes just to give it a little bit of a pop because I felt like something was missing, you know, it needed a little pop. And now for the lips, I'm going to go in with this Milani Retractable Liner and this is in the shade Rose Pink and I'm just going to line my lips with this. Then I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade So Rouge. It's just a really pretty kind of classic red lip, but it has a little bit of a creamy matte kind of finish. So I really do like this lipstick. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. And I'm gonna go in with this Clinique Black Honey Lipstick. It's not really a lipstick to me. I mean, to me, I feel like it's just a kind of lip gloss kind of thing. Um, but I did just want to add a little bit of moisture to my lips because this lipstick, even though it's a creamy-ish finish, it can be a little bit drying, but I didn't want this to be glossy, if that makes sense. So I decided to go in with this. Okay, you guys, so that is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some feedback in the comment section and let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.